A story you'll see only on two. The Georgetown County NAACP is speaking out and calling for the firing of a county employee after what is being described as a noose is seen hanging from the employee's Parks and Recreation County owned vehicle. News 2's Katie Augustine talks with the uh, president of the NAAC chapter as well as county officials and breaks down the details. After what's being called a noose was found hanging in a county owned vehicle, the Georgetown NAACP is calling for termination of the county employee who drives the truck. These photos of the truck were taken at Choppy Recreation Center, a few miles outside of Georgetown. Marvin Neal, the president of the Georgetown NAACP, took the photos after people in the community shared concerns over seeing the vehicle. A representative from Georgetown County says an internal investigation began the same night that the county was made aware of the issue. That was July 14th. The accused employee, who we're told works for the Parks and Recreation Department, is still employed with the county, but was temporarily suspended without pay. This incident just weeks after Georgetown County Council passed a resolution aimed at supporting racial equality. That resolution states in part, the Georgetown County Council condemns any and all acts of racism and discrimination. Now the Georgetown NAACP is calling for termination of the employee, saying suspension is not enough. That is hypocritical for them to make that decision to say it's over, but it's not over for us. We'll be back and we're going to continue to march. We're going to continue to address county council. We're going to talk to everybody possible that will do something about it. We reached out to the employee accused in this incident but have not received a response. As part of their call to action in this matter, the Georgetown NAACP, along with other organizations, will be holding a march this Wednesday to fight for what they believe is right. In Georgetown, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two.